Hello everybody and welcome to our One Mile Gentle Walk. Now this is a special walk because I am bringing to you these Jetty Fitness walking poles. I'm so excited. I have had these for a couple of weeks and I am very passionate about how these can help you elevate your walking. So you can use them for indoor or for outdoor. They are walking poles. Several of you have mentioned to me that you love the walk aerobics, but sometimes you may need to sit either because you have body limitations um, or you just need to worry about your heart rate being elevated. And so I would love for you to try these out, try this walking video out to see how you like it as opposed to just going from standing to seated. I feel like this is kind of the middle ground of being able to be supported as we're walking in place. And as I mentioned, this is a gentle walk, so hopefully you find that this pace and the music will be appropriate for your body. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna hold the poles right here a little wider than hip width apart. All right, so before we get to marching in place, I want you to place your hands on top of your jetty poles, the rubber top. We're just gonna warm up the arms right now. So they will be nice and planted the whole time we walk. That way it will help you with your stability and balance. So I'm super excited to bring you these walking poles from the Jetty Fitness. All right, let's start to warm up our body, whole body a little more. So I'm just doing a little tiny baby squat as I'm doing those breast strokes forward and bring it back. Excellent. I'll share some more information at the beginning or at the end of this video as to where you can get your own walking poles online. Let's do one more. Excellent. Good. All right. Bring your hands down to the cushion and let's just get to our little gentle walking. Excellent. So we're going to keep our poles here for most of the workout. If at any time you want to bring them up off the floor, you're just going to lift them up just a little bit. Okay. Excellent. Good. So we're just warming up the body. Another thing that I love about this is that some of you have mentioned that you can't do a lot of upper body motions just either because of keeping the heart rate down or if you have shoulder limitations, any injuries. So in order to get a total body workout, a lot of times we have to use the upper body, but if we can't, then sometimes you may feel discouraged about doing some of these walk aerobics videos. So we're going to keep our hands down on the poles, but we're going to get a total body workout, you guys, because these are weighted. They're weighted at one pound each, and we're going to be doing some exercises with the arms as we're walking in place. So I'm so excited. This will be your total body gentle walk with these walking poles to help us elevate our walking, help us with that stability and balance. All right, little front kicks to the front. So as you know, I've been teaching walk aerobics and been a walking coach and certified group fitness instructor since 2015. So I've made a lot of videos for you guys. And this is just another way to be able to include a lot of people in these videos. So sometimes our fitness toys are fun to have, right? So we're just keeping our basic movements like we do with our walk aerobics. We're walking in place, our kicks, our knee lifts, our side steps, we can do all of them with these walking poles. Four, three, two, one, back to walking. Okay, so since this is a gentle walk, we're just doing our small range of motion. If at any time you need to dial it back with that range of motion, if you need to put your poles down, if you need to just stand and catch your breath for a second, that's totally okay. If you want to make this more of a gentle walk and boost it up a little bit, you're going to do your bigger range of motion, okay? All right, let's get ready for those single knee lifts. Here we go. Up and down. So as I'm holding on to these poles, my hands are here right underneath the rubber tops on this cushion part, so it's just helping protect my hands. It's also helping me work on my hand grip as well as my wrist. So it's always good to strengthen our hands, right? Good. And I'm just pressing slightly down so that my poles are wobbling from side to side. Keep 
keeping that nice good core engagement, nice good tall spine. A couple more. Four, three, two, one. Back to marching. Excellent. Woo! Are we feeling it yet? All right, single side steps to the side. So just little steps from side to side, moving your body. Good. Our poles have not moved at all. They are still planted a little wider than hip width. We're gonna start to do some upper body exercises with them in just a minute. A couple more. Four, three, two, back to marching. All right, are we ready for those hamstring curls? All right, so you know, to make them a little easier and less intense with our hips, we're keeping our feet narrow. A nice, good little heel lift. Good. If you want to make it a little bigger, opening my hips a little more for that hamstring curl. Excellent. Straight up and tall. Four. Three. Two. One. Back to marching. Good. All right, let's start to move a little bit with those arms because I promised you total body with using these poles. All right, I'm coming up to the top again, little circles as I'm marching. Good. Just little tiny circles, nothing big. Good. Couple more. Four, three, two, one, kick it out. Here we go. Kick. Kick. Excellent. Keep going. Nice good kick. Straight up and tall. Let me show you from the side. You guys keep kicking. I'm going to plant my poles again. So I'm showing me. See how upright I am? I'm keeping the core engaged the whole time. This is going to help with that slouching, helping us stay upright. For four. Three, two, back to walking. Here we go. So like I said, anytime you want to just lift up those poles a little bit off the ground, you can do that. Good. And you can keep them grounded the whole time. All right, I'm going to open up my hips. Hip width. Going to those mini squats, then we're going to add the arms. Here we go. Tap it out. So my feet are about the same width as where my poles are. Down and up, down and up. Let's start to move those poles forward, forward. Good. So nice good shoulder activation. Beautiful. Stretching out the foot. Remember, this is your workout. Anytime you want to go back to that marching in place or small range of motion, make sure you do that. To walking in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Beautiful. Out, out, in, in. Here we go. By four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Four, three, two, one. Bring it out. Four, three, two, one. Last time. Four, three, two. Heel digs to the front. Good. So we're just staying straight to the front. Excellent. Now wide. Beautiful. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. One. All right, marching. All right. Let's get some more shoulder and arms. We're going to bring it in. Bring it in and out. In and out. So almost like her chest fly. Good. In. Out. So keeping those elbows bent. Can you believe we're already on the home stretch, you guys? This is our last song. And then we'll do a little bit of some stretching at the end. It's just going to be a quick 15 minute workout with a little bit of stretching. Good. Four. Three. Two. One, stay here planted. All right, and bring them in a little bit. Little side steps, here we go. All right, we 
want to start to move the arms again. Good. So I'm just bringing the arms a little forward and back just to activate the shoulders again, move those arms. Also working the shoulder blades, the back, because we're doing that little push and pull. Good. Four, three, two, stay wide for mini squats. Down and up. Good. All right, so we did our push and pull. How do we feel about pushing down to the corner? So the thing that I love about these rubber feet, they are not flat, they're curved. They have great grip. But because they're curved, we're able to do this rotation and this pivot without it feeling awkward like we're gonna fall. Good. Excellent. Four, three, two, one, back to marching. All right, let's bring those poles in just a little closer. Excellent. All right, little breast strokes again. Here we go, in and out. Big circles, activating the chest. Couple more. Four, three, two, and one. Stay here. All right, I'm gonna come up just a little bit because I'm gonna show you how even with the poles planted, you can move forward and back, all right? I'm gonna step back, two up and two back. Here we go. One, two, back, back. Up, back, excellent. One, two, back, back. Up, One more. All right, let's kick it out. Here we go. Kick, kick. Excellent, angle kicks. If that twist is not appropriate for you, then go back to the kicking just straight ahead. Beautiful. So I hope this gives you some good ideas of how you can still do your walk aerobics, even if you have some limitations and you wanna be able to stay upright as long as you can. Seated workouts are still great. That should still always be an option, seated and standing. But this just gives you another way to be able to boost up your walking. Here we go. Good. Nice, good breaths. All right. Wide kickback curls. Here we go. Curl, curl. All right. Pull, pull. Good. So it's almost like we're doing a rowing, keeping my elbows close to the body. Pull back the elbows. Beautiful job, everybody. I'm so proud of you for pressing play today. Four, three, two, one. Let's kick it out. Here we go. Kick again, just straight up and tall. Four, three, get ready for single knee lifts now. Here we go, knee up, up, up. So open nice and wide, opening up that chest, good, four, three, two, one, bring it in, all right, nice good in and out, nice good chest flies again, beautiful, couple more, four, three, two, one, we're on the home stretch, everybody. All right. So sometimes, as you'll see, you may have to pick up your poles and just kind of reset to where you want them to be, whether they're hip width, a little closer, a little further together. All right, let's finish up the smile. Here we go. Let's tap it out. Stretch out those feet. Tap the toe. Can we straighten our arms? Good, so working on that core engagement because our arms are straight. The core and our spine is keeping us upright so we don't pitch forward. Bring it back. Pull all the way. Good, couple more. Four, three, two, one. Back to marching. Woo! 
Beautiful job. All right, so as you're marching in place, as we finish up, you can also show you from the side. You have those little pulses with the arms, okay? If you don't want to keep the poles straight up and tall for balance. Good. Couple more. Four. Three. Two. One. Stay here. Good. Nice good shoulder rolls. Up. Back and down. One more. Whew. Little heel digs to the end. We're just going to go for just a couple more seconds. Then we're going to do our standing stretch, still using the poles. We're using the poles the whole time. Good. Four. One more. Awesome. All right, everybody. Let's do some stretching. We're going to plant our poles how we've had them before. All right, so straight up and tall. Bring your legs in just a little closer together than the poles so we can step back into that calf stretch. Good. So straight up and tall. I love using these poles for stretching because it may help you to be able to go further back knowing you're not going to fall forward and lose your balance. So right now we're focused on stretching the hip, stretching the calf. Excellent, nice good breaths. Now, because these are weighted and even though we've been holding them and not bringing our arms above our heart, it's so important for us to do our stretching for upper body. So we will put the poles down to be able to stretch the upper body. So check out my YouTube channel for other videos about what these Jetty Fitness poles, how they can help you, how they're different from hiking poles, and where you can purchase them. So we're just holding it here. Coming up, reset. Let's bring our poles in a little closer together so we can just stretch out that foot. Let's open up that hip a little more. I'm gonna shift my weight to one side as I lift up and I hold it. I do that point and flex. Woo! You're feeling a little wobbly. You're holding on to those poles. Just stretch it out. We're just stretching out the hip, stretching out the leg, pointing the toe so we can work that inner thigh. All right, ready to hold on even, hold on even more. Here we go. Shift the weight over to the side. Lift up that foot, working on the balance. Point and flex with that foot. Beautiful job, everybody. All right, come down. Woo, heel pedal it out one more time. All right. Let's set those poles just down here on the floor. All right, nice good shoulder roll. Bring those elbows back. Good. Our music is going to stop in just a second, but we're going to keep going. Good. Hold on. Nice good shoulder stretch. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Good. Keep going. up if this feels appropriate for you otherwise it's down here by your side and you're just sinking down good you guys know I always end up running out of music that's okay we want to make sure we get our good stretching in so we're just stretching the other shoulder you can have your arm here have your arm here excellent so I hope that you enjoyed this video and the element of using the Jetty Fitness walking poles. I absolutely love them. I've used them indoors, I've used them outdoors, and it is a wonderful concept. I absolutely love it. Several of you have come to me um, talking to me about how you want to be able to stand more to do these workouts and classes, and I feel like having this balance and stability with using these poles 
can really help a lot of people, especially when you're outside too. Um, I know several of you have shared that you've fallen and have broken um, hips, wrists, things like that. And so hopefully having that element of those walking poles will help you. Um, the great thing, let's end with one more inhale up and exhale. The great thing about these poles is that they are sturdy because they're one length. So when you order them online with my link that's gonna be in the description, you need to pick the length of your jetty pole because they are not adjustable, which I absolutely love because that means that it's not going to wear down. There's nothing that you have to adjust, but just make sure that you order the correct one for your height. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love for you to purchase your own jetty fitness pole so you can work out with me more with this video. Um, if you click on the link, to purchase them. Um, it is an affiliate link, which means I get a very small percentage of every purchase that people use for my links. And that's just gonna help me to be able to produce and make more videos and workouts and walk clubs for you guys using these Jetty Fitness Bowls. Thank you so much for choosing to work out with me. I can't wait to walk with you next time. Take care, everybody.